Another cotton that's fun to spin is cotton that you have dyed yourself. And this changes everything considerably. This is some upland cotton, just very generic roving that I did. I painted it, and I won't go into dyeing cotton right now. That's a whole different animal. But you can see it's not all nice and smooth like the original kind of roving. This is, is a Supima, which is a different, but you can see how nice this is, or we'll even get this out. This used to look like this, but now it's kind of lumpy and bumpy from handling it when I dyed it. And I did dry it in the dryer, which helped fluff it up. Sometimes it can be very compacted. So I'm going to tear off a piece. The problem with cotton that has been dyed is it's more compact and it's going to be harder and I do a little bit like silk I pop it just a little bit I don't want it to pull apart just opening it up just a little bit and here again you still have to find your right and wrong end and I'm going to just add it on I'm not sure. I think this is the right end. I'm going to add it right on here with a big overlap. Now this is not going to draw draft out as easily as the other. And you can see it kind of gets blobs in it. And a lot of that is because it's just more stuck. So I'm going to need my hands to work let me try the other end see if that works a little better you can see the big the blobs that are pulling out so I'm just going to need to work those and I think the other end was spinning a little better now here we go and here again I can do this this is spinning much finer or I'm spinning it much finer, it's just drafting out. Remember the finer the cotton, or the finer any spinning is, the more twist it's going to take. You can see how much easy, more easily this is drafting out when I got the correct end of it. Now you can see, just a lot more work for the fingers and the hands, it's not hard but it is not going to draft out as easily as the other. And here again I could try the, the short forward draft. Works a little better here because it's more stuck I guess, but I am just not good at this. Now here again, one thing on the, the short forward draft if you, or the backward draft, if you reach into the, the fiber source you're going to get a blob. One more thing that's fun to spin, kind of a secret thing, is cotton balls, colored cotton balls. Now I haven't seen these for a long time. You used to be able to get them at Walmart and everywhere around Easter time. I've got them in uh, purple, pink, blue, yellow, and green, I think. Um, make sure that they are 100% cotton, which these are. Although it doesn't really matter if you don't care if they're not 100% cotton, you can get anything. Give it a little tug to get it started. This is fun. Spin, spin one of each color and you'll have a multicolored roving or multicolored yarn. This is not as nice a cotton. It has some slubs in it. But it does spin. It has a, a neat color. It's not hard. Again, I'm holding the cotton ball very loosely and drafting back and putting in plenty of twist. Smoothing it down with my left hand. You get a lot of spinning out of a bag of cotton balls. Don't forget the white cotton balls, too. Now some cotton balls are not all cotton, but they're also fun to spin. Pill bottle cotton is another source of fun things to spin. 
when I started spinning in 19, what, 90, all of the cotton in pill bottles was real cotton, and you'd get maybe a one to four inch piece of sliver. Now, uh, half of it is not cotton at all, but it's still fun to play with. There's some that is totally fake, and it's so soft and fun to work with. I don't find it very often, and I have no idea what it is, but give it a try. It's, I love to just mess around with stuff like that. So there's your cotton ball. It's harder to spin cotton very thick because the staple is so short. Most cotton is spun not any thicker than a paper clip um, diameter and then plied. When it's time to ply your cotton, even thicker cotton like this, which would make a, about a nice sock weight yarn, you're better off to leave it on the bobbin overnight. Uh, the bobbin could get almost full or full. Leave it on the bobbin overnight. Ply or spin two bobbins and then ply from both bobbins. Put the bobbins on a lazy cate and put them under light tension and ply. Uh, it's very easy for cotton, uh, especially fine cotton, to, because of all the twist in it, to tangle and snag, and you can have a great big mess. It's not fun, trust me. So if you want to ply, use at least two bobbins and then a third to ply onto. Let it sit overnight, ply under light tension. Here is some green and white cabled cotton. It's two plies of the green and two plies of white. Um, I spun a green and a white, uh, applied a green and a white together and then cabled them back on themselves. So this is actually a four ply yarn. And it's a nice, it's firmly spun and it's a nice firm cotton. And this is probably about, I don't know, a, a sport weight maybe. Another thing, uh, if you have to take your cotton off on a ball winder, use um, a core or a eyeball. Put something over. This is used to be on there and it's taped, and now if I untape it, it won't work again. But just this is just an index card which I tape around. That way I can lift it off. Let me see. I'll show you. And when you are working with the cotton, if you have to, to ply from this, you can just put this whole thing. Let me see if I can. Hopefully I'll keep this in the, the picture. Loosen your tension. If you have to ply from this, the... the index card will keep the cotton from collapsing on itself and you can put it on the nitty knotty and then ply from the outside, have it pull off from the outside. Or you can store cotton this way. But it really is not as successful as just plying from the bobbin. If you're balling and your skein keeps breaking and breaking and breaking, it's because there are areas where there is not enough twist. Good luck playing with your cotton. Now I can lift the whole thing off. Here's the middle and I'm not going to use that. I'll tuck that down inside. Put this on a, knit, on a lacy cate and then if I have to I can ply from this. I would not want to ply from a center pull ball. So good luck. I'm not a cotton expert but I hope this helps you get started. Cotton is a lot of fun. Hi, Wally Wally. This is, this is my main man. What are you barking at? Am I ignoring you? Sit. Wait. No, that, no, that's back. Wait. Sit. 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 Now, wait. Yes, wave goodbye. Yes, what a good boy. Yes.